She is on the short list to be the VP pick, but will her tenure as chief of police be a benefit or a hindrance? Political reporter Christopher Heath sat down with Congresswoman Val Demings to discuss her time at OPD, what she got right, and what she got wrong. For three and a half years, she led the Orlando Police Department. Now, as a member of Congress, Val Demings talks a lot about what she learned during that time. But that record also shows excessive force complaints against her officers during her tenure. Now, as she is being vetted for a possible VP nod, I asked about those cases. How do you feel about people digging back through the time that you were chief of police and some of the issues that came up with excessive force complaints? You know, I, I have been in public service for a long time now. I started off working for the state of Florida as a social worker. Then, as you know, had a 27-year career at the police department. In that time, OPD faced its fair share of complaints of excessive force, even a federal lawsuit. Did we have some moments where that I wish had not happened? Of course we did. Uh, but what I do know is that I gave it my all as the chief of police. And uh, I do know that when I retired on June 1st of 2011, Orlando was a stronger and safer community. Deming says her record, while not perfect, represents a balancing act that all chiefs face between supporting their officers and accountability. I needed and had to know the truth as the chief of police. And we were able to get to the bottom of some things and, and separate those individuals from the department. Right now, the House is considering several measures to deal with accountability and transparency, including the mandatory reporting of all officer misconduct, something Demings supports. Reporting from Orlando, Christopher Heath, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.